Well, yeah, good day, everyone. Um, thank you for having here. So within a few minutes, we're going to start. And just waiting for our um, guest people that you can start and listen about the girl call. So yeah, hello, sir. Can you hear me? Hi, everybody. Uh, yeah, good day, sir. So just wait a bit, sir, uh, for joining all of our community members. Uh, I think within one or two more minutes, we can start. Uh, okay, so are you ready? Yes, yes, thank you for having me. Okay, yeah, thank you, everyone. As you know, this is the Wise Crypto, your favorite crypto space. And today we're going to discuss more about the girl call. And here is an honorable guest. So, sir, first of all, could you please introduce yourself first a little bit and also your experiences in crypto space? Sure, thank you. Uh, so, Goracle is a decentralized blockchain oracle. Uh, as some people might know, many projects need to get data from the real world, <clears throat> whether it's uh, crypto prices, DeFi data, sports, insurance information, uh, and these types of information are critical for building apps that are going to power you know, the next generation uh, of, of, of apps and use cases. Uh, so we, we have previously built you know, several um, projects. One of the key things we were building before was a sports application that needed Oracle data. Uh, because you couldn't find a suitable Oracle, that's actually why we started building this. And we've been building for almost a year and a half, almost two years actually now. Uh, and we're finally getting ready for launch. Okay, yeah. Thank you. Thank you, sir. So, yeah, like their aims to the accelerate the development of dApps that are useful in a day and also today lives to the of millions of the users, actually. So they will accomplish by this providing the infrastructure necessary for developers and also organizers to build applications that make use the real world. So, so I saw like your name is uh, similar to the Oracle. So it is like uh, the database management system and also could you say more about it actually, like how it works in crypto? Yeah, there's, there's absolutely no relationship between the Oracle database management system. Uh, you know, Oracle, the, the definition of Oracle is something that can see something others cannot see, right? Uh, and so in, in crypto space, blockchain Oracle generally means any piece of software that gets data from the outside world onto the blockchain. So like Chainlink is another big one that most people are familiar with. Um, and so, you know, that's kind of the main thing that an Oracle does is if you're trying to build insurance, if you are trying to build DEXs, or if you're trying to build uh, sports fantasy apps, uh, rather than trying to build your own data feed to connect to the data that you need, uh, oracles take care of all that work for you, uh, and they present you with the data that you need so that you can just focus on building uh, the app that you need to build. Okay, yeah, thank you. So thank you for the clarification. So people like to know more about the Coracle, you can visit their website, you can read out their white paper, their documents to know more like what they are making for you guys. Um, so, so could you say like what problems the Coracle uh, just solved that is brings the mainstream adoption to the Wave 3 rather than others? Well, you know, you look at um, all, many of the projects today and what they're using for Oracle, uh, many of them actually are not using any Oracle or they actually build their own Oracle. And this is a uh, problem. You know, we were talking to the founder of Ave, Stani, uh, and, you know, I was asking him what's the problem with Oracles today, and he's mentioned there's a lack of innovation. Uh, you know, DeFi and other applications have come so far in the last three or four years, but Oracles are still kind of the same as, as they were before. And uh, so there's a huge need for innovation and there's a huge need for oracles that can make people's jobs easier, make people's lives easier. And any oracle that can accomplish that task is, is expected to gain a lot of market share because there's just no good oracles on the market right now. Okay, yeah, thank you, thank you. So, yeah, I can add a little bit like their mission is to the advance of the state of the art in oracle and the blockchain 
reliability, safety, and also the performance by providing a fixed level and the modular oracle is uh, um, architecture equity. Like this architecture should support the frequent upgrades, fast adaptions of the latest technology advancement, and also the first class support for the new and also uh, emerging users. Yeah, that's really amazing. So, so do you have any kind of native coin or token? If yes, could you say more about it? And also, what can people actually do with your token? Like if they buy, if they hold? Yeah, absolutely. And and you know, like you mentioned, oracles are are important. Every every project, every blockchain, um, you know, they can use an oracle. So it's not literally uh, limited in in any way. And so the the main token that powers the Goracle ecosystem is called the Gora token. Uh, and if you're a customer that is using the Goracle network to buy data, you pay for it with Gora. If you're a validator or if you're a staker. Uh, you can validate or delegate your tokens to a validator, uh, and that allows you to run our proof of stake consensus. The more tokens you have, the more likely you are to be chosen in our uh, consensus mechanism. And that's kind of our way of, of Goracle, the way we do security is it's pure proof of stake. Um, every, every node that is operating in the ecosystem has a specific amount of votes, and the number of votes they have is equal to the number of tokens they have. Um, and that's you know how we how we manage the security. So that's the first two. Uh, the third one is you know delegating. So if you're not a technical user but you still want to improve the security of the system, we have a lot of uh, big, medium, and small validators, and you can actually delegate your tokens to them and let them do all the work. And usually they take a five or ten percent commission uh, for doing all the work for you. Uh, finally, we have the Goro DAO. This allows everybody to participate in the direction of the protocol. Uh, you know, things like what exchange should we list on? What is the minimum stake? How much should customers pay? A lot of these decisions are left up to the community. Uh, and so the more tokens you have, you delegate them or you stake them. Uh, and then that gives you voting power. Uh, and, and, and almost all of these, except for, of course, paying for data, allows you to earn rewards on your stake. Okay, yeah, thank you. It's like, so people, if you buy that token, you can do different kind of things and stuff. So Say, like, you can vote on DAO, you can make a stake. Um, so, sir, could you say, like, where can people buy your token right now? Like, is there any kind of uh, a, a pre sale or public sale? And uh, how can people make passive income through your platform? Yeah, there, there, there will be a pre sale happening uh, at the end of. Uh, at the end of the month here, or sorry, in June. Uh, and that's going to happen on platforms like Tokensoft and Pools. Just follow our Twitter to get those announcements. Um, but in the meantime, we are running an incentivized testnet. Anybody who joins our, our website can do a lot of tasks, whether technical or not technical, to earn rewards. And there's always, uh, you know, contests, giveaways, and things like that. So, for example, right now, we are with DowMaker for voting to be listed on them. And if you go to the Downmaker website, you can see the pinned tweet in our timeline. And if you look at that pinned tweet in our timeline, um, the voting is open for Downmaker. And whoever votes, as long as there's more than zero assets in the wallet that you vote with, you get a share of $10,000 worth of Gora token. And so <clears throat> there's always there's always ways where you can kind of earn some, some tokens even before we go to the public sale. And then once the public sale happens, you, whether you're on pools, whether you're on Tokensoft, uh, and there's also going to be Algorand specific launch pads that you can go to. Um, there's going to be plenty of, plenty of opportunities. Best way to stay in touch generally is to join our Twitter, uh, join our Discord, join our Telegram. And our community is very helpful in, in helping out with some of the answers if you have any when you're doing the incentivized testnet tasks. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thank you for the clarification. So yeah, people uh, to know more, as I said, you can just keep eye on their all kind of social link and know more about their uh, information and so forth. So what do you say like uh, about your protocol design method and also like, and also what is your security system? As you know, like nowadays people are searching for the great security. So what is your security measures on that and also your protocol design? 
Yeah, so as you know, oracles are very vulnerable to attack, right? Uh, if somebody wants to attack the system, they usually go after the oracle. So the oracle has to match the security properties of the blockchain that it's on. We are launching on Algorand before we go to other chains. And one of the ways we do our consensus mechanism is using some of the cryptographic libraries that Algorand used with. And these are created by Sylvia McCalley, who's widely considered uh, kind of the, one of the fathers of cryptography in a sense. Uh, and so, you know, when you look at it, you have hundreds or even thousands of nodes. As a node runner, you don't have any choice about where to get the data from. This is assigned to you. So, you know, you don't, you can't put anything malicious on chain. If you do decide to get your own data, then what, if you if you are chosen for consensus, you'll fail because your data does not match the data being put forward by other parties. And so this is this is kind of where, where um, the, the security lies in, as a node runner, you don't, you just have to run a black box that you don't have any control over. And if you do try to um, change the rules of the game, then you, you will not match what the majority has and therefore you won't be rewarded. And that's how we do our, our security is through a, a proof of stake consensus mechanism. And as a node runner who gets the data on chain, you don't know when you'll be selected to get the data on chain. And when you do so get selected, you won't know how many votes you have. And this is also a random way. So you never know when you're gonna be able to participate. Uh, and, and by adding this randomization and uncertainty to node runners, it, it's a further step to make sure that uh, there's no, there's a very short window that anything can happen. If it does happen, it's gonna be very expensive to do so. Oh, yes. And guys, like, no worry about the security. Like, the protocol has the four main themes surrounding security, like network consensus and also the trust model. They have data integrity. They have the crypto economic security. So people don't worry about the security system. You can come in. You can join. Uh, so, so before going to the last question, I just want to know, why do you think, like, why should people choose a Coracle? Hello, sir. Are you there? Sorry. So think about, you know, in, in anybody in this audience, the type of apps that you use in your day-to-day -day life when, when it comes to the blockchain. And uh, then think about where is this app getting the data from, whether it's the price of the crypto or whatever it is, right? Also think about the apps that you wish were on blockchain. Insurance, you know, um, if you're if you're part of a city, maybe they can start doing the utilities on chain. And when you start thinking about the apps that you use now and the apps that you would love to use, chances are they need an Oracle. And because so many apps need an Oracle, we are that foundation, regardless of what chain you're on, right? Uh, and that's that's where Goracle comes in. We want to power that gener that next generation of use cases. We want to provide high quality data and that should result in an explosion of the nice, the types of apps that can be built and the usefulness as well of these apps. Uh, and that's, that's kind of the reason why it's, it is, you know, it's gonna be a kind of foundational layer for, for future apps. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thank you for providing the information. And also guys, just remember, uh, we're going to be live and also we'll take some questions from your side. But before the start, could you say what is your future development plan regarding to your project? So there's two key areas of focus. One is multi-chain, two is uh, off-chain computation. So when you look at the multi-chain, rather, uh, you know, look at Cosmos, you look at Near, you look at EVM compatible chains, they all need innovation in the Oracle space. And many oracles are just providing crypto prices and we want to go beyond that uh, and so one clear path forward is the multi-chain strategy uh, the second is the off-chain computation so imagine you want to do some sort of computation you know you want to do some complex math or bonding curves right now this is too complicated to do on chain uh, instead of having a aws or google cloud backend you can actually do some of that computation on the Oracle node network and get that data back. If you have megabytes of data that you want stored, 
you can actually use Oracle and, and store that data on an IPFS type database. Uh, and you know, that, that you think about it, it's really gonna make an app as decentralized as possible once you have these services. And rather than using several services, like you could use subquery for yeah, querying data, you could use Filecoin, you could use um, another chain. And instead of using all these different types of uh, apps to do similar things, you can just use Oracle to that will take care of all of that. And so our development timeline is really uh, for the rest of this year, making those two areas of focus a reality. Okay, yeah, thank you, sir, for providing all the information. But as you know, guys, through this AMA, it is not possible to provide you every points and cons about any kind of project. So for that, you just need to go to their uh, website to know more about. You can read out their all kind of information. And if you think like you're you going to be benefited uh, if you invest on that, you can do that. But before that, you just make your own research and also try to understand and stay there with them. So, sir, thank you uh, for your uh, like answering all the questions. It's time to take some questions from the community. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay, okay. So the first one I can see A Jero. Hello, A Jero. Hello, can you hear me? Uh, yeah, ask your question, A Jero. Okay, uh, so my question is I just want to know uh, can you tell me, like, uh, do you have like a, uh, like, uh, like a staking program on uh, Boracco. Uh, I just want to know if uh, you'll be able to stake uh, your tokens after that. Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, if you're technical, you can actually run a node and you can stake it that way. If you're not technical, you can delegate your tokens to a validator to stake for you. And, you know, I think if you check out our incentivized testnet, there's ways to actually play with that and test it out uh, before we even go to mainnet. Um, so go to goracle.io and click on launch app and you should find everything you need to know about incentivized testing on there. Also check out blog.goracle.io for instructions on some of how to do some of that stuff. Okay, thank you. Yeah, thank you, Ajiro. And also to know more, as Sar said, you need to stay in with them and also know more about their plan. So the next one is uh, Tassin. Hello, Tassin. Hello, Elliot. Thanks uh, for giving me this opportunity. So my yeah, question, question is, so my question is, how is your platform is different from other existing platforms? Can you specify some details? What makes this project special? Yeah, sure. So if you go to, so considering we're a blockchain oracle, uh, the job of a blockchain oracle is get data on chain, right? Uh, if you go to different oracles websites today uh, and you go to what they provide, you'll notice that there's a huge focus on what's the current price of a cryptocurrency you can't really do too much information with that, right? Um, and so what we differentiate is being able to say, give me the price of the cryptocurrency, give me the volume, the 24 hour high, low. Uh, and all of a sudden you can start lending against way more coins than just Bitcoin or Ethereum, for example. You can protect against vulnerabilities. Like I'm not sure if you guys heard the Mango protocol hack that happened because um, they were using the crypto spot price, but somebody was able to, manipulate the volume uh, and then attack the system. And so you need way more richer data to be able to, to build complicated use cases. And then we also do the same with scores, whether insurance, all kinds of apps. Uh, and so just increasing the amount of apps that can be built with the blockchain Oracle way more so than currently existing uh, Oracles out there. Thank you, sir, for the explanation. It was very nice. Yeah, thank you, Dustin, for your uh, question. So the next one is Jack. Hello, Jack. Are you there? Yes, ma'am. So uh, I just wanted to know, uh, you know that uh, ambassador play is a very important role in every project. So do you have uh, any ambassador program? If yes, uh, how can I be one? Yeah, we're working on creating a comprehensive ambassador program. Uh, join our Telegram, say hi, join our Discord. 
Uh, and over the next couple of weeks, we will be announcing an exciting ambassador program. Okay, sir. Okay, yeah. Thank you, uh, Jack, for your question. So the next one is Omega. Hello, Omega. Hey, uh, hi. So uh, my question uh, regarding for uh, delegation. So uh, if I want to uh, delegate my token, any of the uh, validators, so is there any minimum or maximum token I can delegate? No, right now there is no minimum. You can delegate as little as one Gora. Okay, thank you. Okay, yeah, thank you, oh, Omega, for your question. But just stay tuned with them to know more about their plan and program. So the last one I can say is Ria. Hello, Ria. Okay, can I ask a question? Ah, uh, yes. All right. All right. So my question is: um, um, <clears throat> How do you plan to fund the Go or Go Raku project? Like, how do you keep funding it? And uh, also, how do you plan to sustain the project? Thank you. Yeah, great question. So we started off with a grant from our grant foundation. We ended up raising uh, nearly $2 million in our seed round. Uh, and that has been the catalyst for helping us start develop. And, and as mentioned, we've been developing for the past year and a half, almost two years. Uh, moving forward, you know, we, we still have some gas in the tank. We expect to go live by the public sale and use any funds generated from the public sale as well to fund the development. Uh, once we go live, I think a lot of the uh, funds will come from protocol fees. It's essentially, as we add more and more features, we expect to get more and more customers, which generates more fees. These fees are distributed mostly to the node networks and data providers, uh, and a small percentage is set sent back for development. Uh, and that's the goal that should hopefully help us allow us to uh, continue development for the next two to three years. All right, thanks. Thanks for the great answers. Good luck to the project. Uh, yeah, thank you, Sam, for your question. So, sorry, I think we got our five winners, but I just want to know uh, before wrapping up, like, what do you say, what is your marketing strategy and also what is your global uh, expansion program? Yeah, great question. So, you know, previously we were less focused on marketing. We were way more focused on the technical side and development. We launched an incentivized testnet. And between January to March, we had so many people testing without even doing any marketing. We hit 20, 30,000 testers. And now with our protocol going live, uh, we were heavily focused on marketing. We're working with, uh, you know, leaders in the space who review the project and, and kind of get the word out key opinion leaders, influencers, um, and that's kind of the one way. The other way is just working with projects who are going to use us, making those announcements, uh, and getting different communities uh, to, to, to come to our communities from there. And so really just, you know, reaching out, to talking to people, answering people's questions, getting people to use the product, um, and, and working with our partners across the space is, is one of the key ways we're going to uh, focus on marketing. Okay, yeah, thank you, thank you, sir. So, yeah, I just want to say, everyone, stay in with them and support them as you know, like, community is everything. So, without your support, it, this is not possible to go ahead and so far. So, thank you, sir, for your precious time to our community. And uh, before the wrapping up, is there any kind of uh, like advice or any kind of closing statement to our community? No, thank, thank you for having me. It's wonderful to see all these people who are so excited about crypto. I love looking at people's uh, profile pictures. Um, and yeah, just follow us on Telegram, Twitter, stay up to date. And if you guys have any questions for me, um, I'm always in Discord. I'm always in Telegram. Uh, you can also send us a tweet and we're happy to answer. Uh, yes, definitely. So, guys, if you have any kind of question, query, you can ask to their Telegram group. They will solve it, no problem. And stay tuned with them and support them. Thank you, sir, for your precious time to our Wise Crypto. And thank you, everyone. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Yeah, good day, sir.